Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am still working on my monochrome junk journal. And this is, I believe, monochrome junk journal page tutorial number four, which is actually like five tutorials so far of pages. This particular one, we're using some paper from Canvas Court brand slash Tattered Angels. I think I said Seven Gypsies when I was actually doing the uh, tutorial. So let's go ahead and hop into that so you can see what we're going to make today. For this page, the foundation is a printed page from Canvas Court Brands, Seven Gypsies. This was a special project that I did with them a couple of years ago, and I was digging around in my stash and found this page. So think if you have some scrapbook paper or scrapbook cardstock, or maybe you can stamp and create your own collage on just some printing paper. So that's what's on this side is a decorative uh, elements that were printed. This side has lines and I want to alter the way this looks. I've got the flowering branch and I'm going to ink it up in black ink and we're going to stamp it around the edge. So I'll rotate the stamp a little bit and stamp all over the edges. So now that I've got that all stamped, I've got a calco collage image. This is from the faux postage, like rose stamp sheet, faux postage. So I ended up printing that on ivory cardstock. And I think I just want to make a little element to go in this corner. I'm going to glue these two pieces together. And then let's go over to the sewing machine and I'll stitch around the postage stamp portion. So I'm over at my sewing machine and I'm going to use a zigzag stitch and stitch all the way around using regular thread, regular needle, just set on a zigzag stitch that's 2.2 for the width and the length. So I just stitched around that image and I'm going to put it over here, but before I put it down, I want a piece of lace behind there. So let me dig through my pile here. I've got this lace. And I think what I want to do is have it peeking out from behind. So I'm just going to trim this. And then we're going to put glue on the back side here. And I'll place the lace in that glue. That's how I want it sticking out there. And then we're going to glue on this and place it onto our page. And I'll put an acrylic block on here to help hold that together while I continue on. I've got a strip of paper here that I'm going to put down this side and I know that you can't really see the stamping underneath there but I wanted this to help me with holding some fabric and lace together. So what I'm going to do is gather up a strip of fabric onto this piece of paper and I'm using the paper because I didn't want to stitch onto my piece of paper, the big piece and have my stitches go through the other side. So I'm just going to take my fabric right along this edge and drop that in the glue just a little bit and then just ruffle it. I'll trim off any excess. So you can see I'm just kind of ruffled that along there. And I have a piece of lace here that should also fit. Just kind of looking at it. So I'll take this over to the sewing machine in just a moment once the glue has dried. Well, on this side, I want to create a pocket element. So let me show you what I've pulled aside here. I've got some leftover bits and pieces. This is from some packaging from Seven Gypsies, and I just trimmed it into a strip. And I happen to have a piece of this black cardstock. So I thought that would look good on there. Then I had a couple of scraps just laying here on my desk as well as a calico collage image. And I think what I need to do right now is just go around the edges of a couple of these pieces with some distress ink and I'm using black soot. All right, so I know that on this piece, I'm going to stitch around this outside edge. So I'm just gonna set this aside for a moment by my sewing machine. And then I've got this little composition that I'm playing around with here and I think what I want to do is glue these two strips together and then I'll put this on top just kind of making a little collage there. Alright so I've just kind of collaged around those. So let's go over to the sewing machine. 
All right, so I've got a couple of pieces here. The first one is I'm just going to stitch around the outside edge. It's just for decorative purposes. I like the look of the stitching, so I'm just going to stitch all the way around. For this element, I'm going to stitch around the faux postage here, and I might stitch down this edge. I haven't decided yet. So I did decide to go ahead and stitch down that edge, and I stitched all the way around. And then we're going to come back to this piece with the lace. So I'm just going to lay these together and then stitch them together. So this piece that I layered the lace on, I'm going to glue down the edge of my page here. And it just kind of gives me a little bit of a foundation to hold my um, papers and lace. I am going to stamp a couple more times just because I wanted it to be a little bit deeper on this side. So I'm just going to kind of come up. So now it kind of lets those flowers come out. I'm just gluing it down the edge. I want that piece of paper to be right up against the edge. All right, so the inside portion is done. So now I'm just going to work on this last outer pocket area. I want to layer these on here, but I want to make sure that I have full use of the pocket. So I'm going to cut some strips of paper. So I've got some one inch strips of paper. And what I'm going to do is basically extend how this pocket works. So we get the full use of it. This is great if you have smaller pieces of paper that you want to use for a pocket, but it's not quite big enough to make tabs. So you can make your own. I'm going to repeat the same process on the black piece as well. Once I have all the pieces laid out, I'll come around each piece and trim off the corners. So then you'll fold the tabs in, make them even with the edges. I'm just going around the edges in case some of that paper can be seen from the front side just a little bit. All right, so let's glue this down and I'm going to glue it a little bit closer to the bottom because I want to put this little trim across here. So this piece I'm going to layer on top of the other and I don't need to put glue all the way on my little pocket area. So I'm just going to put my finger here and glue down these tabs. All right, so now I've got this pocket which is going to go on this portion of the page. So I'm going to glue it down now. So there's the layers. Now I need to make a couple of cards to go inside. So I've got a piece of four by six craft cardstock here and I've got the Bella Rose stamp. I'm going to ink this up and stamp it down this edge. So you have a little bit of those roses poking out. And then I've got the fabric again. We're going to do a little ruffle like we did on the page. So again, I just made a little ruffle down the page and I will go over to the sewing machine in a moment and I've got this little piece of trim that I want to sew down on top of it, but I'm going to let that glue dry for a moment. I've got another piece of cardstock here. This one is four and a quarter by five and a half and I've got from the bird nest cube. It's the bird nest. I just thought this would be an interesting texture to use. I'm going to ink it up here with the black ink again. And this time I'm going to go around the outside edge. I'll go ahead and put some distress inks on the edges of my card. And then I've got another little journal card here that's from the All About Robins kit and a black piece of cardstock. So I'll glue these two together. All right, so I'm going to go over to my sewing machine because I want to stitch around this outside edge and also sew on the other piece a little bit earlier that we made. Okay, so I've got this piece laying here. And I'm looking at it, trying to decide which way I want it to go. And I think it's this way. Yeah. So I'm going to stitch down this edge. And I want to stitch all the way around this piece. While I'm over here at the sewing machine, I've got a little piece of fabric and lace. So I'm going to cut a little snippet of this and stitch it down. I'll trim off any excess here. So that's my journal card that I stitched down the edge with the roses poking out. And then here's my foundation for this piece. And we're going to glue these together. But before I do that, I want to add some strips to make this a pocket. I'm just glue this down as a pocket. 
I've got some of these little paper flowers. I'm trying to use them up in my stash. I thought that would look really cute right on there. So I'm going to glue that down. I made a little journal card ahead of time. This was basically just a four by four square. I rounded the corners, added some distress ink, and then just laid down a piece of fabric and scrap of lace. And that will go inside our little side pocket there. I've got another one of these paper flowers that I want to put down. So I'm going to put it right here. So we've got this journal card that'll go in the back here. I've got a little journaling page that I printed as a card and added a little bit of lace to it. So that'll go in here. This is another one of the All About Robins images that I printed as monochrome on white paper and then just collaged a little piece of fabric and or lace and ribbon. So that will put right here. And then this guy is going to go back here. So we have lots of layers all in one pocket. You see all that? It's nice and fluffy. All right, there's this side. And here's that side. Well, I hope you like this page as well. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching today to see the tutorial on how I transformed this paper from Seven Gypsies, how I used a packaging from Seven Gypsies, some cardstock, and used digital images from the All About Robins kit. I also used one of Norella's journal line kits that I shrunk into smaller images. We even made a little journal card with a pocket. So it has a little secondary journaling card as well as the back. And then we made a larger journaling card with some embellishments down the edges. I like the lace bits that I added as well as the fabric. You know, and this is a great way to add fabric to a journal page that maybe you've already got the journal in put together and you can't get it to your sewing machine. So sew onto another scrap of paper and then paste that down and you still get that fabric look. And I hope you like the little collage over here. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Do give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Comment down below what you thought about this project. Do check the description box for links to products that I use. Know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And love for you have to come join me as I make a whole journal during the live stream. Do come back and see the other tutorials for the monochrome junk journal. So I still have a couple more pages to make as well as the cover. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.